Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Adventures. I had a viewer not too long ago question me about the output of a of a uh, solar panel from Top Solar, uh, 60 water. I didn't put the information of what it actually put out because I had used a controller that was good for 60 watts and it blew it up. I sent it back to the uh, original uh, maker of the thing, they fixed it. When I got it back, I didn't trust the output uh, that the meter showed on it, so I didn't include that. So today I'm going to include this for this guy so he can, it's been a while, I'm sorry about that. Uh, it rained here. When I was chatting with him, it rained for months here, and then I kind of forgot about it. But so here we go. I'll show you guys what I found out and how well it did. Let's check it out. All right. So I had a viewer ask me about the output of this. This is a 60 watt solar panel and it is from Top Solar. I'll just look in there. And right now I don't have it optimal as far as the angle, but 60 watts. The video I did on it earlier, I it blew up basically a 60 watt solar controller. I sent it back to the people, they repaired it. The figures I was getting on it after I got it back, I didn't trust. I think they did something to make it not blow up again. But uh, let me show you. Go open my phone here. Now I'm running this into a, uh, a Victron solar controller. And let me get it in the shade so you can see the phone. But here's the phone. It's showing 48 watts right now, 2.4 amps. Um, but down below where it's actually charging, it's taking 3.5 amps at 13.46, roughly. All right, on the volt. And it's putting out almost 20, about 20 volts. So this thing is doing really good. And as you can see at the bottom there, it's in bulk charge right now. The batteries are kind of low. So I had it up around 50. So that's, that's pretty doggone good. Like there's 48 right there. And you can play with a little bit to get it perfect. You know, it goes to 48. But uh, that's within the range. You know, it's 60 watts. Usually they never do 60. Some, I mean, I mean, if you really tried to get this perfect, it might work and be okay. Let me go inside and we'll look at the meter in my trailer, okay? So this is the Victron app. All right, so here's my, uh, this is just my, it's a cheap voltmeter, but uh, let me go in a little bit for you guys. So it's showing 13.2 volts from the charge right now to the actual meter. Now the meter has pretty small wires going to it, so there's probably a little bit of voltage droppage there, but uh, pretty close. And uh, I've got a diesel heater. And I think just the, between this and the voltmeter, over quite a few months, it's been four, five, six months, my batteries did finally shut down. They're lithium batteries, and that's what they're supposed to do. And I hooked the charger to them today just to get it started again. And then inside there, there's the two batteries. I've got a diesel, there's the diesel heater. One of these days I'll do a, a video on the trailer, but for now I'm still playing with things. I want to put about 200 watts up on the uh, actual top of the trailer. All right. So I think 50 watts out of a 60 watt panel is pretty good. And it has a little meter on there showing you optimal angles. And I'm not even at that right now. So I'm pretty happy with this thing. It's not a big one, but it's a nice easy one to take if you're going to throw it in a backpack or something like that. All right. All right. So this is the, uh, the case it comes in. I wasn't going to show this, but if I don't, somebody will want to see it anyhow. So I will also link the original video in the description below. So this is what it comes in. And it has two sides to it. Uh, here's one side. And then this is the solar panel all folded up. So it's pretty compact. What's that, about 12 by 10. It has this, this is the actual, um, where you plug everything in. 
It does have one, this one here, is actually regulated at 14.4 volts. It has USB-C, USB-A, and this one here is the one you hook the solar panel to a solar controller. It, 19 volts max is what that shows. All right. So you just open this thing up. Now on this side here, turn it around. Kind of hard to see, yeah. So on here, when you get this thing in the optimal position, these lights light from one to all the way to the fifth one here. And that means you have it in the best position or angle to the sun, all right? And it just unfolds like that. Probably can't get it all in there, but you guys get the idea. There is a total, let's just count this up. There's a total of two, four, six, eight, ten, ten panels. They're kind of dirty right now, so the, out, the output test could have probably been just a little bit better than it was. Not much, though. And they just fold back up like that. And then you guys saw it strapped up, okay? Now, it also comes with... A bunch of adapters. Now these are the two adapters. These are the ones that work to my solar controller in the trailer. And this one adapts, this one plugs into the solar panel and then adapts like that on there to, to actually go into any type of, like if you have a solar generator or something like that. And it does have a bunch of extra adapters and stuff. Came, came with a couple of carabiners. See, here's one that you can plug it into a cigarette lighter. All the different adapters it comes with, and also one for batteries. And then this one's kind of a specialized one for certain types of solar generators, all right? So that, that it comes with all that, which is nice because it seems like every solar generator and stuff has their own proprietary type of deal, and it will fit most of those. Now, what I don't use much, and I probably should just take out of this case, is, a, is on this side. And that's these brackets. Uh, they're made to set up to put it at an angle. I just lay it on something or on the ground. I'll probably take these out. These weigh quite a bit, but it is an option for you guys. All comes in the kit. I don't even know if they still offer this one, guys. I'll look and see if it does. I'll put it in the description also for you guys, okay? So that's about it. That's all that comes in the kit. And uh, I have to say it works pretty doggone good. All right guys, so I hope this video was of help to anybody looking at for some type of small panel like this, like a 60 watt, 80 watt, something like that. This is a top solar. It's It does pretty good. I've got a friend that has the 120 watt and he's getting pretty much, you know, 110 out of that or so. So a top solar is a good brand. It's not super, super light, but light enough for, uh, you know, you take it out for parks on the air or something like that. If you're really healthy and, and really good backpacker, you can pack it in also someplace on a soda. So I'm Chuck, KK6USY. This is Ham Radio Adventures. Thank you for joining me today. 73 all, hope to catch you guys on the airways.